This is the worst FANG crash in history and worst bond market crash in history. And the Fed has only hiked once. This is from Zero Hedge. So let's get that. We were at 0% interest rates, borrowing for free. We raised rates once by a quarter percentage to a quarter percent to half a percent is the rate. The Fed hikes rate once, and we have the worst crash of the tech stocks in history and the worst bond market crash in history. And Deutsche Bank saying that we should that, that we're that we're gonna go to five or six percent by next year. Folks, we will be dead. And you know. What we're watching right now is because the cryptocurrency space is still tied to the overall stock market. This is why we're, we're down 50% since the tops of last year, right? The market, if you look at it, I was mentioning this earlier, in each presidency, the markets usually bottom out around the second quarter of the second year in, in most pres presidencies. And, and this is spot on for what's happening right now. Now, we just happened to have, um, you know, the, the pandemic that happened over the last two years. Now we have the war situation going on, the supply chain crisis, all these events, all these artificial crises happening, which are, are orchestrated and staged, which doesn't mean that they're not real, doesn't mean that there's not going to be blood in the streets. There most definitely will be, okay? It's just that they, this is all planned. This is all orchestrated. But what's happening is retail, Main Street, doofus morons like you and me that thought we were smart on Robinhood investing in the stock market, that thought we were smart investing in all these cryptocurrencies. We are getting squeezed right now, right? Worst bond market crash, worst tech crash in history. And the cryptocurrency market is following. So... If the Federal Reserve does hike rates, which we have a Fed meeting coming up, I believe on the 4th and the 5th, we have another meeting coming up here in May, and then another one in June. So the talk right now is that they're going to raise rates half a percentage this coming month in May, and that they're going to do it uh, once again, possibly a 75 basis point hike in that next one. Everyone's speculating, but if you're talking about half percentage interest rate hikes, we're in trouble guys like this is this is ugly this is ugly and this is why i'm going to be dropping an updated exit strategy uh for my cryptocurrencies here next month uh next week actually next week i'm going to be dropping this with my discord group going over my current portfolio and my current exit strategy because i am switching up my strategy right now after you know watching this thing play out after not getting this pump and the scene is horrendous um, it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to sell and walk away, but I'm going to be positioning myself to take advantage of the opportunities if we bought them out here coming up in May. But if, if they actually go through with this, guys, we most definitely are going into recession. And this is the start of an inflationary depression and the potential for stagflation, which I believe is already there. Stagflation is uh, demand dropping or falling off but inflation continues up and that's happening because of the supply chain crisis. So even though demand's going down, people are broke, they have less discretionary spending, we still are getting inflation and higher prices because we have the supply chain crisis, all orchestrated and um, without even really going too deep on it, we're about to experience one of the worst droughts in history in the Southwest United States as well. And that on top of the increased fertilizer prices because of the Russia-Ukraine situation and because of the planting season being missed right now, this is going to get a whole lot worse. 